I think, at event, and uh, Tits McGee took, took it there. Now, the first match is on a wallless stage. Yeah. That Which is going to be a big disadvantage for Geese, yes, I since so. most of his damage comes from being Fight. at the wall. Yeah. Well, he has some decent damage with Outworld as well, but he's definitely, like, his damage output at the wall is the just sky crazy. Rockets. Wow, yeah, now starting and off right away. Stand up. Already has a huge life Still lead. Yeah, and uh, pers personally, I think uh, wall stage isn't even that bad for Geese because you can just run away and throw red pukens all day, and you're not gonna hit the wall. So you, you, depending on the playstyle you go for, it can be beneficial. And a really, really oppressive first round. Nice yeah. interruption there. Yeah, as you as you saw, like Chargy, even if he's not on plus frames, he will still try to catch you with something. Wow, well, what, goes what was for that? Like a round grab for some reason. <laughs> Tries to parry, <laughs> gets grabbed instead. <laughs> the classic. He always does that. First uh, parry didn't work. No, I don't care. I just do just another one. Just goes for a second. Goes and for a third. A third, a fourth. Who cares? Ooh. Goes for the alternate yeah, rage yeah, and misses was too late. completely. Was too late. Just one more hit. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you have to really watch out after down jab from Geese because it's he's not done. He's not done. There's more. Geese is never done. No whiff punish. Nice. Yeah, the goose Gets is loose. A low launch. Wow. Got him, got him. Last time he went low, this time mid. Lots of damage. Nice. He's in rage, but one more hit will be it. Can he make a comeback here? He has rage on deck. Yeah, yeah, he also plays Ayachi. He plays a bunch of characters. He also can uh, play Kazuya. And he has started playing Yoshimitsu lately. And just chops his shin. And 1-0 already. <laughs> Alright, TO questions. But yeah, Tits plays a bunch of characters, but lately... Uh, um, Geese is definitely his main. He is playing him the most. As I said, he started uh, playing Yoshimitsu as well now. So, uh, like in tournaments, he especially likes to pick Geese because people, like most people, don't know the matchup, yeah. and uh, he gets pretty far just using the same tricks over and over again. Yeah. And I mean like Geese, with Heihachi, everyone knows character. the Mishima matchup. Geese is a good character, man. I yeah. Like. And he Very gets his Howard estate. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as I said, Geese is a very good character, I think especially for tournaments, because he can force the high-low mix-up really well. Yeah. And if he has meter, he gets a lot of damage of the high-low mix-up, so we'll see. Now we see a special intro throws. for Geese Come on his home stage. Round one. Fight. Nice. Starting off with the pressure, you have to duck that there, but uh, of course it's hard. Wow. Yeah, his wall damage is insane. <laughs> and Gets the parry. Parried. He really likes those Gets parries. Gets into the breakable oh, no, wall. No wall. Okay. And he goes to the other yeah. side, though. Should have gone for the power crush at the wall instead. <laughs> See, parry doesn't work. Do another one. Just if they are, if if your opponent isn't fast enough to properly with punish, sure, why not? Just like the second or third or fourth times the charm, always. No it's tech a grab. On the throw. Tries to follow oh. up. Tries oh. to go for an auto grab. And the wall Gets this carried time. all the way to the wall, and now we see Geese. Still? Geese yeah. is very scary at the wall. Do another one. A single mistake could cost you half your half bar. That's gonna be the wall again. Second break. Oh. Doesn't get the ground grab. Must have missed time dead. Oh, wait, try wow, hit. Nice. What are you lying on the ground for? It's counter hit, gets the low parry. Not huge uh, damage. Give me out a second. Of it. I think I have to go check something uh, TO wise. Just give me a second. I'll be here to keep you guys entertained. Gets him in maximo. Gets him all the way to the last breakable wall before the balcony, but pushes him into the corner. Doesn't get the break. Gets low parried. 
and Chardisan is able to fight his way out of the corner. Both about even now, Chardi in rage. Gets grabbed and finished off. Two rounds to one. Round four. Great at the start. Slightly in favor of Tits McGee, but he gets launched and breaks the wall. Breaks the grab. Gets low parried again. Chardisan very on point with the low parries, but he puts him in rage, so this could still get scary against these. Especially with the balcony behind you. Breaks it. Puts him in rage. Yes, and everything. he will take this round with the rage art. Yeah. Oh. And he is up two matches now. Also, yes, uh, Ultra Rage Mob, everything is best of five in top eight. Full BO5 top eight. So 2 0 already. Again, we're seeing an uphill battle. So, I I don't think we're gonna see a switch chart. Usually, just plays Warring. Yeah, yeah, just go and straight And he for rematches the rematch. on straight. Howard Estate. Feels confident that he can yeah. still win on this stage, which is specifically designed for geese. Yeah, the home turf advantage, man. Ooh, again. Backlash gets blocked. Yeah, slowly. Is it uh, still, is it just fast enough is the question. Gets a life lead now. A pretty Ooh. large one too, but... Gets caught in the string, but he pushed him away. What, what was puts that? Puts him in critical health that and must have been, That grab. must have been a miss input, that ground throw. Why would you do that there? He probably missed his uh, parry. <laughs> Wow, again, the power crush. All and a, another low parry. He will not let himself get hit by lows. Get, um, Gets him again with the forward, forward, forward. Gets him low. And Chardy in general just yep. looking way more sharp than the last two matches. Maybe he has a read on Pitts McGee, but he gets him through both walls and takes a huge chunk out of his health bar, making it about even. Grab gets broken. Oh, and there we go, that's the rage art, that's gonna hit, that's gonna kill. One round to one. Every wall has been broken, there's one more balcony break until we see the beautiful last stage of Howard Estate. Gets him all the way to the wall. Huge wall damage. More than half his health bar gone. Drops him all the way to Rage. One more mix up, we'll do it. All right, grab. That's seven golden letters and no less. Yeah, uh, Rage Brownie will keep you entertained. I have to go again. That I will. I see Tits McGee seems to not seem, seems to not take any losses right now. He is up two rounds and up two matches. And Chardison is very low on health. Has rage, but is incredibly low on health. Hits him with the backlash. Gets him with the low launch. And the rage drive. First two hits hit and he still gets him. We'll launch at the start of the round. We'll probably carry him all the way to the wall. And he gets a finisher at the wall. Half a self bar gone once again. Drops him into rage with the ground grab. And another hit will finish it off with a perfect. That's three matches to none for Tits McGee.